What's up guys, it's Fabadab17, welcome to the third episode of my PES 2019 Master League with Manchester United. And if you haven't checked out previous episodes, I recommend you check them out before checking out this episode. In the last episode, basically, we got the Premiership season started and we got one or draw away from home against Bournemouth, which wasn't the best of results, but we hopefully can build on from there. And uh, we've got the Champions League group stage draw in this episode, so that's going to be exciting who we actually end up facing in the group stage. And uh, we end up signing for Ran, and he's going to make his debut in today's episode. So uh, if you are excited for this episode, make sure to smash that thumbs up button, like, comment, subscribe, be a part of the notification squad. Thank you, every single person that's part of the notification squad, every single person that's watched, subscribed. Shout out to this guy, this guy, and this guy. You guys are sick. Thank you for being part of the notification squad. And um, I'm going to try and look, because I've seen a lot of your guys' comments. A lot of you want me to sign a right winger. And uh, some of you said left back as well. And also someone said uh, swap Fellaini for Savage. I think that was his name. So I'm going to have a look into that. And uh, we're going to get into the Premiership games. going to look at the Champions League group stage draw as well. So yeah, let's get into it. The Champions League draw has been made. I haven't seen who's in our group yet. But here all the participating teams in the Champions League. And um, by the way, anyone who's asking for the licenses and how to do that, I'm going to be doing a video in a few days' time. So uh, make sure to stay tuned for that. And as you can see, they've got Champions League, all the licenses for that as well. So they're the participating teams. Let's find out who is in our group. It's such a crucial part of the season. PSG, Valencia and Sporting. And that is a pretty hard group. I think... Valencia in United's group in real life with Juventus instead of PSG. So it is kind of similar standard group to what United are in real life. And we actually played PSG in the preseason friendly and it was my last uh, Master League. So it's uh, going to be interesting playing the club I used to be in Master League. Uh, the other groups have got uh, Roma, Roma's group. It seems quite easy that group to be fair. Barcelona, Porto, Lyon. Uh, Inter, Sparta, Moscow, Shan uh, Shakhtar, Donetsk. To be fair, looking at these groups, I would say we've been been a pretty unlucky with our group so far. PSV, Liverpool, Dortmund, and Club Bruges. Juventus, Fetico Madrid, Monaco. That's a bit of a group of death, that one there. Um, Schalke, Bayern Munich, Fenerbahce, Celtic. Real Madrid, Man City, Benfica, and Basel. That's um, a tough group. So, I would say we've got one of the hardest groups in the competition, but... You've got to beat the best uh, clubs to uh, win the Champions League and work for the challenge. And I'm looking forward, especially to match against PSG. That'll be uh, interesting. But yeah, let's have a quick look at the transfers now. Okay, so uh, I've looked at a few of your comments in the last uh, video and uh, who you've suggested me to transfer for the remaining budget I've got. And um, here are the few of the suggestions that I did see. I've seen uh, Dembele, which would be a fantastic shout. Uh, Gareth Bale, which... It's going to be difficult because I have only got 25 million, but we'll, you know, we can try. Um, Marquinhos Hummels, Boateng, we already had Pulisic was a shout, which is a good shout as well. A lot of people said, like I said, a lot of people said right wing and left back, and uh, because Matt is only 77 and the right wing, which it does make sense. We improved the right wing, and uh, arguably the left back needs improving as well. Um, got Promes there, so um, these I can't really think of the head of a left back that would be good for this team so what I'm gonna I'm gonna initially try and strengthen the right wing and if we have any money left over from that then we'll strengthen left back but for now we're gonna try and get a right winger so I'm going to I'm gonna try because I would say Dembele is my first choice of all of these so I'm going to try to start chance negotiations with Dembele and for 16.7 million it's 100% chance of signing so we're gonna go for that uh, sell an option, no. Pick a player to trade, no. Player sell 97%, that's high. It's good, that. Um, so, if we have it at the lowest it can be, it's still 85%. So, I'm going to go for that. We could, um, if we can get him for four years. Oh, he just doesn't want to sign four years at all. So, we'll get him for three years. 79%, maybe go a bit higher. Make it not as risky. Um, how much is the parents' bonus? 5,000. I'm not giving him any bonus. 85% should be enough. What's his release fee? His release fee is 16.7. I don't want that. If I got his release fee 21.7, it's still 56%. I don't, if I took his release fee off, it's only 5%. So I'm going to have to put a release fee on it. 
because it's not really going up any other way. Nah, I have to put a release fee in it. So I'm going to put the release fee. I'm going to have to put it at not much further than what I'm actually paying for him. So it is a bit annoying, but hopefully just no one buys and no one that activates the release clause because otherwise it's just it's going to be too difficult to sign him otherwise. So I'm going to go for that. We'll see what they say. Also, as well, um, someone told me in the comments that these two options are massively League. These, um, I think he said, a there's a challenge in a, a ch in options. There's a challenge with the transfer negotiations. So for my next Mass League, I'm going to do that. So it'll be a bit more challenging to sign some players. But uh, for now, we'll just keep it like this. So I've sent one off for Dembele. Let's have a look at Bale. So that chance of negotiations, 26.7 million is 100%. Um, I could just about scrape the money if I put it at that, which is 75% chance of signing. Um, play salary, play salary, 100%, still 100%, still 100%. Four years, he's happy with that. Release fee, 20. Oh, I hate this release fee. Um, it's actually not bad though because they can put it up to 34.7 million and it's still 90% chance of signing. And they would take it off, it's 80% chance of signing. That's really good. I'm going to send that. That's a really good um, offer if we can uh, get it, them to accept it. Um, so well, we've sent that off for Bale as well. Bale and Dembele are probably my two top choices. Pulisic is probably next. So we'll see what they get back with that, but. I think we're going to have a game before that against Leicester City. So, yeah, let's get into this. All right, getting into the first game of the episode now against Leicester City, who were the first match for us in real life, and we won 2-1. It was quite a close game, though. And uh, this is Lance side to go with. Uh, Sanchez, Lukaku, Mata, Pogba, Matic, Fred. And uh, Ferran's coming for his debut partner, our other signing, Harry Maguire. So our defence is looking a lot more solid there. And there's Leicester's team. They've got uh, Jamie Vardy signed up front. Obviously, Mares has gone to City. But um, we need to be careful with uh, Jamie Vardy in the counter-attacks, especially with that pace. So, yeah, let's get into this game. Hopefully, we can get our first win of the Premiership season. Let's go. King Power Stadium. Not an easy place to go to. There's Ferran making his debut for us. Hopefully, he's going to be as influential and as good for us as what I think. And I uh, had the faith in signing him in the first place. So, for Rans and their team, the Leicester fans are buzzing, we're buzzing. Premiership second game is about to kick off. Well, Lukaku over the top to Valencia. Oh, it's matter over. Oh, what a ball. It's Lukaku on the volley. What a volley. Romelu Lukaku. Damn, son. That was a volley. That was an RVP volley, that. Robin Van Persie's back at United. What a bloody volley. Right, so here we go again with the replay. Matter with a fantastic ball. And that is why Matter's in their team. I know a lot of you say we need to replace him, but Matter can deliver some brilliant passes like that. Look at this ball. Beautiful ball. Look at the finish. He takes it first time in a volley. Absolutely fantastic. What a start to this game. 1-0. Oh. Right, here's Romelu Lukaku to Sanchez. Sanchez through to Lukaku. Lukaku's got lots of space here. Can Lukaku make it 2-0? He's made it 2-0. Two goals for Lukaku. And uh, we are running ragged at the King Power Stadium. This is clinical. That's what we were lacking in the first game. We had, we were playing quite well. We created quite a few chances. Weren't clinical, though. And so Lukaku stepped up to the plate. And he's, we're definitely being a lot more clinical. What a performance so far. 2-0. I watched the run. They're playing a lot of players forward now. Leicester, they're going for the... Oh, it's just wide. Yeah, it's second half now. We were in cruise control first half. We were playing so well. And uh, second half, and Leicester are trying to push players forward. This has been the only shot, though. So we've been relatively comfortable so far. Just keep this up now. And we got the ball back, though. Here's Pogba. Going to just have a shot from distance. It's poor Pogba, saved by the keeper. There it is, full-time against Leicester City. We've won 2-0. 
fantastic performance. Uh, we played really well, but we actually got the result to match it, and uh, we were clinical. And Lukaku's first goal, especially, was a very, very nice goal. So I'm very happy with that performance. It's a good way to start off the first match of the episode. Um, we played well. We deserved the win against Leicester. Not easy team. Obviously, Leicester surprised the world when he won the league in uh, 2016. So we never expected an easy game. So here are the other results. Um, Bournemouth beat Arsenal 4-1. That makes us feel a lot better about drawing with Bournemouth the first game. Uh, City drew as well. We won. Everton drew. Tottenham won 1-0. Uh, Liverpool won. Chelsea got beat 3-0 by Fulham. Mm. All the big teams are struggling. Let's see where it puts us in the league. We're up into fifth. And um, a lot of the so-called bigger teams are struggling a bit. So it's a, it's a good start for us. And... Um, yeah, I'll take this start on, but I'm not sure who we're playing. I'm not sure who we're playing next, so we'll find out. But right, so they've got back with the responses from the chance negotiations, and unfortunately, the bail one fell through, which I am a bit, you know, sad about. But the Dembele one has uh, come through, and uh, they're waiting for a response. So. In, in my opinion, though, I think it, in a way it's good that we signed Dembele. He's younger than Bale, and uh, Bale is like a world-class player. Don't get me wrong, but I'll, if I signed him, a lot some people would have said, you know, it's a bit unrealistic. United signing him. We have been linked with him, but maybe it, it might be a bit unrealistic. So I would say Dembele is a bit more realistic. So you know, we can't really complain at signing Dembele. He's a fantastic player, and I think he will. He's got the potential to be maybe not. Who knows? We don't know if he's going to be as good as Bale in the future, but he has got potential to be a very good player. And we're going to accept the Usman Dembele. So, probably our last signing of the transfer window. Dembele is coming in, and um, I'm very happy about it. What a signing that's going to be. So, I'll get him straight into the team. And we'll have a. Someone did say to swap Fellaini for. I'm going to look now, listed players. Where is he? Savage. Oh, he's there. Savage, can we try and swap him for Flayne? Someone suggested I don't think they're going to accept it, but we might as well give it a shot. He's going to be way too much money for us to pay for him without putting the player up. So we're going to just... Where's Fellaini? Um, Fellaini. There he is. So it's still a 0% chance of sight. You just don't want Fellaini. At all, even if we put the transfer fee full, they still don't want him. So that's just not happening. So we're probably going to have to wait till January transfer window to have a chance of signing Savage. But I'm happy with my team. If um, I think the Dembele one's all but finalised now, but I'm very happy with the team we can, can get Dembele in. And um, going to continue the game now, and hopefully we can get Dembele in the starting lineup for the next game of the episode. There we go, it is transfer deadline day and uh, Dembele has joined up with the squad. That is exactly what we like to see. So I think we've done a very good transfer window. We have signed to conclusion. We have signed Harry Maguire, uh, Ferran and Dembele. Three quality signings there that I think will massively improve the squad. And uh, the areas I'd say we'd probably need to improve the most. And um, in January, because a lot of you said left back. So in January we're probably going to be looking into left back as well. So let's um, now we've got the chance uh, window out of the way. With we're gonna fully concentrate on doing well in the league and uh, the Champions League. So let's uh, get into the next game. Right, last game of the episode it is a Champions League first group stage game. A massive. This is gonna be a massive game because Valencia, are arguably one of the teams we're gonna be fighting for. Because on paper it would probably go PSG then between us and Valencia. So Valencia, is, this is going to be a crucial game. We've got it straight away. So we're going to hopefully try and go for the win here. And so we've got all our new signings in the first team. We've got Dembele in the right wing. The new signing, Maguire and Ferran partner centre-back. So that is our lineup. And uh, there's Valencia's lineup. We've got a few dangerous players in there like Rodrigo. So we need to watch out for them. It's going to be a tough game. But I think we've got enough to get the win. And uh, this is going to be the last uh, game of the episode because 
I've been concentrating on transfers, but now the transfer window is done, we'll probably go up to three games per episode. So yeah, Champions League, Valencia, let's go. Perez to Lukaku. Oh, it's a good ball to Dembele. Dembele in his debut. He's running still. It's Dembele. He's got no weak foot and he's got a good shot. It's a good save by the keeper. And that was the first real sign of what Dembele is capable of. And he feels very good in this game. His dribble and his pace. And obviously, he's uh, very good with both feet in the game. That's pretty much to the keeper. But good start for the young lad's career. Sanchez. To Lukaku again. Lukaku's thrown goal just before half time. Can he make it 1 0? Oh, he's missed it. I was about to celebrate, but then. Dem is it Dembele? Is it Dembele in his debut? It is Dembele on his debut. What a way to mark your first appearance at club, scoring in the Champions League. And Lukaku really should have put his chance away here. It's 1 and 1. Pretty unlucky hitting the post. And Dembele picks up the pieces, gets his first uh, goal for the club. And if you can continue playing like he has in his first uh, performance for the club, he's going to be one hell of a signing. You got to remember this: uh, Dembele is only young as well. He is—he's already one hell of a player. Well, Romelu Lukaku. Oh, what a ball to Dembele! Can he get his second goal of the game? Oh, oh, Dembele is on fire. I know he missed it, but what a run again! Oh, a poor pass, pass by Flentia. Lukaku through to Dembele. Dembele's through again. Can Dembele make it 2-0? Dembele has made it 2-0. His second goal. Wow. I don't think I've ever had as good a debut as Dembele on any Pez game. I don't think I've ever had a player had as good a debut as what Dembele, Dembele has had. What a performance. He's looked insane in this game. I am so glad I have signed Dembele. Thank you to every single person that suggested me to sign Dembele. You were definitely not wrong. What a what is good finish as well. One and one is composure. He just smacks it bottom right corner. There's full time with one two nil thanks to Dembele. What a debut by him. And what a performance. I tell you what, the defence feels so solid now thanks to additions of Varane and Harry Maguire. They were absolutely solid at the back. Plenty have struggled to create any chances at all in that game. And uh, Dembele, better than what I thought his debut would be, that's, that's for sure. He was absolutely phenomenal. Even, you know, he scored two goals. He could have scored like four or five. He was insane. What a player he looks to be. Hopefully he can continue them sort of performances because he was insane. And the whole team played great. Fantastic start to our Champions League um, campaign this season. Alright, so we're going to have a look at the other scores now. Bayern Munich won 4-0. Uh, Schalke won. City drew. Real Madrid won. PSG won, who were there also in our group as well. So they'll be top of the table by one and goal difference. Um, wow! <laughs> Barcelona got beat 4-0 by Lyon. 4-0. Wow. Also as well, and you can tell they probably need a new manager at this rate. Also, I will be doing a Barcelona Master League. And that is going to be... It's, uh, it's I'm going to structure it a bit different to the way I structure these, uh, these Master League episodes. It's going to be long episodes and you're going to get, be able to see like everything. Like With these episodes, I edit bits out. You know, the bits where... I'm thinking who to sign and stuff. While in the Barcelona Master League, it's going to be just like everything I do, you'll see on the Master League. So, uh, but it'll be without face cam because the face cam, it'll, the camera will run out of charge. So, if that makes sense. So, if you are interested in watching that Master League, make sure to check it out. It'll be coming very soon when this uh, video is released. Um, but as I was saying, it looked like they need a new manager, how poor that result was. Um, Porto won, Liverpool drew, Juventus won. So some interesting results there in the first matches of the Champions League. And uh, there we are on three points level with PSG. And uh, that is pretty much where we're going to end this episode off. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. Like, comment, subscribe. Be part of the notification squad. Thank you every single person that's watched this uh, episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, make sure to check out my other videos on my channel and the future videos I have planned for you guys. Yeah, hope you have a good day. Hope you have a good week. This has been FabLab17. I will see you guys later.
Peace. Bye-bye.